In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to custom build a DIY tub that allows you to automatically and remote feed your plants in solo cups. Now the first thing you need to do is get one of these 14 gallon tubs from Home Depot or Lowe's. And using a hole saw, you're gonna attach this to an electric drill. Make sure the hole saw you select is slightly smaller than the diameter of your solo cup lids. You can place these holes however you want, but for a 14 gallon tub, I like a staggered formation with eight holes. One tip I could give you is make sure you make these holes at least a centimeter away from the sides so that the cup does not push against the edge, which will give you tilted cups instead of cups laying flat. Use common sense, this is dangerous. Next. You want to prepare your solo cups so that it's impossible for you to overwater your plants. You'll need to poke holes on the bottom of each cup, and I just used a SIM card drill bit that came with my iFixit kit. Again, 8 seems to be the perfect number, so I'm going to place a hole in each of the corners and right in between each corner, and these holes allow excess water to drip out. On top of that, we're gonna add an inch of perlite to the bottom of each cup, and then fill the rest up with soil, leaving about an inch of open space on the top, which is where your drips will go. Next, we're gonna make the drips. You could just buy these pre-made, or you could follow these instructions. Now, I went through a bunch of iterations before finally figuring this out, and the type of tubes you use absolutely matter. The first time I used this vinyl tubing, which ended up clogging most of the holes, I switched it out with this plastic tubing that's widely used for reverse osmosis setups, and this worked perfectly. I want these drips to fit right into the top of my solo cup so it secures itself with friction. In order to do that, you have to cut the tube and factor in the length of these T's. This is how much of the tube actually goes into the T, and by measuring it side by side with the solo cup, I'll cut the length of the tube so it fits perfectly. Then I'll check to make sure it's snug in the cup, and as long as it checks out, this will be the sample drip that I'll use as a reference to all my other drips. Using the length of this tube, I'll cut other tubes. Another tip I could give is cut at an angle so that when you circle this tube back to itself, it's almost straight when it goes in the T's. The next step is to poke holes into this drip. And again, I'm gonna use my SIM adapter in my iFixit kit. I like to make these holes as symmetric as possible, and you wanna make sure that you poke these holes at a 45 degree angle so that when water drips down, it goes towards the center of the cup. You also wanna make sure that you're not poking all the way through the tube and just through one side. This'll take some getting used to. First, I'll poke a hole on each side of the T as close as possible at a 45 degree angle. Then I'll poke a hole directly across the T and I like to do everything symmetric. Since the T prevents absolute symmetry, holes near the T will be slightly more concentrated. I'll poke a hole equidistant from the holes I already made, then poke holes between those holes, and then poke holes between those holes again. In the end, you should have 17 holes on each drip. I'll cut some tubes that are about an inch long and connect an elbow on one side, then the drip on the other, making sure the holes are on the bottom. This will allow these drips to go flat inside the cups and swivel while you're moving the cups, preventing additional pressure on the lines. The last step is to actually test these drips to make sure water is coming out evenly and without leaks. Ooh, look at that. Once they check out, you want to cut the lines that are connecting these drips to your pump, and this is all according to your enclosure. I'm not going to go into detail on how I cut mine, but a tip I could give you is less is more with the half inch tubing. And for the quarter inch tubes, you want to have at least a foot of slack because you will find yourself in positions where you might need to move these cups a little. Connect this setup to your pump, which will be plugged into your timer or smart outlet, and videos on how to do that are linked in the description. 
Now the only thing left is to set up your juices specific to the plants that you're growing. For example, on this setup and use, check out my channel. If you value this content, smash that like, hit that bell, and for the best videos on how to grow, check out my site, Evie Grows.